Quincy wanted to come outside this morning. He loves to be out here. The first thing he does every morning when he gets out of bed is go to the big glass door in the kitchen and stand there and wait for me to open it. So I thought this morning we would have our blueberry muffin tea out here and I will fill you in on what I have planned for the day as far as food, drink, but first, yes. I know my tea drawer is out of control. Those are the teas I always drank when I was dirty fasting. The one I'm having today is red rose blueberry muffin herbal tea, sweetened with stevia and zero calories. I forgot how much I enjoyed these. I like the fact that they're already stevia sweetened. That way I don't have to add anything else to it just steep it in eight ounces of water for three to five minutes and you're good to go. We will do a much longer chat in the evening. I do have a little review I wanna do. I found another new drink, but that brings me to the point of this morning chat. What am I doing? Well, now that I think about it, you probably already know because it's in the title and probably the thumbnail. I'm doing some dirty fasting. So, when I was having all of my issues with the brain fog and the fatigue and it hadn't hit me yet, I hadn't put two and two together to realize that equals four, I was thinking that the root of all my problems was my blood sugar. I have now since realized that it is uh, from my autoimmune disease. I'm thinking that's where all of my issues had been stemming from. So I had cut out fasting. I was eating four or five meals a day, well, three meals a day, two snacks, and I had significantly increased my carb count because I was trying to get rid of the brain fog. Now that I know that, mm, no, that's not why you had all of those issues, Christy. It's autoimmune and now it's started to clear up since I'm on doxycycline, low dose antibiotic every day. It has taken care of the inflammation from autoimmune. It has cleared up a lot. Long story short, guess who's going back to dirty fasting? Now, if you don't know what dirty fasting is, I have an entire video on it. I'm going to link it up in the cards, whichever side that's on, and down below in the description box for you. But for me, it allows me to go a longer period of time without consuming food. Since I'm doing dirty fasting, I incorporate drinks into that fasting window as long as they're under 50 calories. Now that doesn't mean go get a shot glass of an Oreo blizzard and eat it. It means within reason. Dirty fasting today, having my tea. I know some of you may ask about this. I'm pretty sure I ordered this off of Amazon because my Walmart doesn't carry a ton of this type of teas. They more or less carry like Lipton or Earl Grey and <laughs> I need some flavor. I will pop on off show face chat once in a while, tell you what I'm drinking. Let me also say that when I lost a significant chunk of weight, I was dirty fasting and doing keto. So it was like that combo gave me the ability to drop the weight a lot faster than just keto alone. Something to think about if you're in a weight loss stall or you wanna speed it up, but of course, I'm no healthcare professional. Make sure that your team says it's okay for you to fast. I'm gonna have the rest of my tea then I'm gonna go fill up my water bottle and start drinking on that because I do feel a lot better when I hydrate with H2O. Oh, I hate to say that because you know I'm not a water fan, but I think it also helps with the edema and the swelling that I'm holding on to. Okay, so 30 minute long, 8 a.m. chat. I'll see you in a minute. I went ahead and filled up my water bottle. I am already behind, so I better get to drinking. 
I'm being asked where this came from. I picked it up on Amazon. It wasn't that expensive. It is linked down in the description box along with all of my favorite items that helped make my weight loss journey a lot easier. And just so you know, it is available in different colors. Changing things up a little bit. 9.30 in the morning and I'm gonna be taking my long-lasting insulin. This is the Traceba. Normally, I take this at 10 a.m. every morning, but I'm trying to scoot it a little earlier by about 30 minutes every day. I'm gonna try to start taking it at 8 a.m but I don't wanna do a big two hour jump all at once. For those of you that don't know, I am a type one diabetic, so I have to always take long lasting insulin, no matter what, because my pancreas is just laying in there, dead, taking it easy, it's on vacay. As of right now, I only take eight units of long lasting insulin. That may change or increase in the future. It's noon and I'm having some Tezo Unsweetened Iced Passion Herbal Tea. And I believe I picked it up at Trader Joe's. Zero calories, zero fat, zero protein, and less than one total carb. Where this is concentrated, all I have to do is add equal parts of water and tea. Plus, where it's unsweetened, I'm gonna need a few drops zero carb sweetener. I'm using Truvia, a quick mix with my straw, and that's it. Enjoy. Delicious and much cheaper than going to Starbucks. Woohoo, look at me, all caught up. Believe it or not, I'm still going strong on the dirty fasting front plan is to continue my fasting until I get hungry. Then within that window, I do plan on eating a couple of meals. I've never been one of those people that would fast and only do OMOD, only one meal a day. I would rather break up that one massive meal into a couple of smaller or medium sized meals. I don't remember the last time I was this excited about a drink review or a drink in general. If you saw my grocery haul, I will link it for you. I found three different Zero Sugar Mountain Dews. We've already reviewed one of those. Today's is the one I'm most excited about. Mountain Dew Zero Sugar Summer Freeze. It's got an ice cream truck on here, a popsicle like as its mascot. It's the red, white, and blue. Weren't those called Rocket Pops? They were one of my favorites. <laughs> about 30 years ago. So I'm really hoping that's what this tastes like. All of your nutritional information is a big old goose egg, zero, except for the sodium, and that is gonna be 50. Sweetener in this is probably not gonna make some people happy because it is loaded with multiple sweeteners. It has aspartame, sucralose, and also ACE K. Fortunately, as a type one diabetic, None of those spike my blood sugar. As far as, are they good for me? Are they healthy? Probably not. But this and the ingredients in it right now are the least of my worries. Okay, enough talky talky and more drinky drinky. Let's see what it smells like first. Come on, Rocket Pop. Oh, it does. That's exactly what it smells like. Oh, it's blue. Sorry, I'm easily excited. I've been so disappointed by all the drinks I have tried lately. Come on, Mountain Dew, you can do it. It tastes like a rocket pop. It tastes like that red, white, and blue popsicle. Okay, I'm a little giddy here. I'm happy, I'm pleased, I'm tickled. Okay, finally, they did it right for me. I haven't liked any of the others that they've came out with recently, but this one screams my childhood summers at the baseball and softball field, running around in the park, chasing down the ice cream truck. I may have to stock up on this one before it's gone because you know Mountain Dew just does those limited time 
drink flavors and when they're gone, they're gone. Yum, love it. Update on Quincy. If you watched my last What I Ate in a Day video, at the very end, it was like nine o'clock, Quincy had started getting sick and he was urinating blood. I got up the next morning and as soon as the vet opened, I called him, they worked him in and <laughs> several hundred dollars later, we have a diagnosis and meds. X-rays, let me show you his little tummy on the inside. Look at those, he's so tiny. The good news on the x-rays, they didn't see any bladder stones, kidney stones, or any obstructions. He has been urinating blood and his urine has sediment particles in it, which is just out of the blue, nowhere. Never has this happened before. She's diagnosed him with a UTI, put him on antibiotics, an anti-inflammatory slash painkiller. It's been several days that he's been on his antibiotic, no blood in the urine. He's back to his peppy little self, so thumbs up. For Quincy. He's doing great. So thank you all so much for keeping him in your thoughts, sending him well wishes. You guys are awesome and I appreciate it. Gotta have another drink. So good. I do want to give you a reminder because I was checking my email for any deals that are going on. So if you've missed the last couple of perfect keto deals and you need to stock up on snacks, right now is the time to do it. They are having their spring snack sale. This starts on Monday the 24th and will end April the 28th, which is Friday. Right now, they're going to be 25% off. 25%, that's a huge chunk. And you know I love the NOLA bars. Also, the cookies. They have tons of snacks. And their snacks are really good, clean ingredients. In a lot of their snacks, they're going to be adding in collagen and MCTs. These are keto snacks that are also low-carb and diabetic-friendly. To make it super easy on you, I'm going to put the link down in the description box. That link is going to take you over to all of the items that are currently on their spring snack sale. Add the products you want to your cart and then hit checkout. Where it says gift card or discount code, you're going to enter in spring snacks. Click the little arrow button. That's when it applies the discount and gives you your total. I hope that helped walking you through the process because I know sometimes this can be confusing. I always try to do my stocking up on my snacks when there is a sale. The great thing about the two NOLA bars that I always pick up, the maple and the white chocolate macadamia nut, as a type 1 diabetic, they do not cause me to have a blood sugar spike. I don't have to take insulin with them, so I get that sweet treat and I don't have to worry about dosing with insulin. Mm. Wish I hadn't talked about those bars. Now I have it on my mind and I want one quick update on the roof. Thanks to you guys, because it completely like slipped my mind. I never even thought about it, but everybody's like, uh, you got a roof leak, shingles are gone. You got all those issues. Uh, contact your homeowner's insurance. Duh, but I did go by State Farm after you all mentioned it and they are sending a claims adjuster out here and they're gonna look at the damage, assess it, and the lady at the office said that they would definitely be paying some on it. Although I wasn't in panic mode because I don't have a choice as to be fixed. It is nice to know that the insurance is going to help out some. Thank you guys again for saving me. I don't know what I'd do without you all. I really don't. It's time for me to go pick up Briley at school, run a few errands, and that I hope is gonna keep my mind off of those NOLA bars. I will be keeping an eye on my blood sugar. If for some reason it drops, of course I am going to eat. I'm going to go and when I eat or drink, I will pop back on. But before I dart off, quick blood sugar check. I'm at 116. 
it's about 15 after four. I wasn't planning on eating this early, but my blood sugar is starting to steadily drop. I think it's a good idea to go ahead and have a meal so that I don't have to worry about a blood sugar low. I'm gonna fix a wrap. I recently picked up the keto friendly multi-seed tortilla wraps at Aldi. One is 70 calories, four and a half fat, 13 13 total carbs, 13 dietary fiber, meaning zero net carbs for protein. They did have another variety, but the multi-seed was the one that piqued my interest the most. I'm going to add some boar's head sausalita turkey, two pieces of bacon, one pickle. This is the Mount Olive Sandwich Stuffers Kosher Deal. There's no sugars or anything added. And then I will add a layer of Duke's mayonnaise and a slice of deli cheese. Rolled up my wrap, cut it in half, and added one fourth cup of raw pecan halves. They are four carbs for one fourth cup, three fiber, meaning one net carb, plus 20 grams of good fat. And to drink, I'm having you guessed it, more water. A little after seven and I think it's time to make some dinner. I'm gonna start out by sauteing some white mushrooms in EVOO and Trader Joe's 21 Seasoning Salute. Now it's time for the question of the day. Do you have a favorite vegetable that you fix pretty much with every single meal? Mine, Brussels sprouts. Oddly enough, I detested Brussels sprouts before going low carb and keto. So that brings me to dinner for tonight. I took about five or six Brussels sprouts from the freezer. I put them in the microwave and steamed those for about two minutes. Then I put them in a pan with some olive oil, crisp those up and add pink salt. I put a piece of salmon wrapped in foil in my air fryer and all I added was oil and I sprinkled Old Bay seasoning over my salmon. Dinner took 15 minutes to throw together. It's a home cooked meal. I know it's not going to upset my blood sugar levels, which is always a positive. And to drink, I'm gonna finish off the Mountain Dew Zero Sugar Summer Freeze. Gotta get back to Walmart and stock up ASAP. I know this seems a little abrupt. It's only 8.33, but fatigue hit me like a freight train. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to bed. I'm not blaming the fatigue on the dirty fasting. I'm blaming it on autoimmune. I just need to catch up on some sleep. I'm gonna go make sure if you haven't already that you subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way, as soon as I upload, you'll be alerted. Make sure you also look down in the description box. Anything mentioned in today's video will be linked down there for you. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.